Hey, on the channel from NECA and the Munsters, we've got our old pal, Zombo. The spirit of the warrior will run forever. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Monsters unboxing and review. And today on the channel, we've got Zombo. But for all your Zombo needs and a whole lot more, make sure you're hitting up Entertainment Earth. Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10%. And of course, anything over $59 does ship free gotta get a deal out there and gotta give us give a shout out to good brother number one uh blaine out there as blaine did send me this he did get this at his local dirt cheap store down in texas of course if you guys know dirt cheap stores i've been there on a figure hunt one time uh, they have a lot of target overstock that they sell very cheap well he didn't see some of my figure hunt videos said i was playing a little long game on this zombo well he found me one very cheap and sent it my way so blaine special shout out to you Good Brother of the Day award goes to you. Uh, but the Munsters, normally I'd have my dad here. He did join me for the Herman Munster unboxing and review. He wasn't the biggest fan of it. And I got to be honest, we are all honest. I think most people say, hey, we want traditional Munsters figures. But I did find a lot of enjoyment in that Herman Munster figure. And I think I'll find a lot of enjoyment in this Zombo figure as well. And I don't know if my dad feels the same way, though. I don't think he knows anything really too much about Zombo. But Zombo, a bit of a deep cut character from the Munsters universe. If you remember the old school Munster series, there was that very famous episode, which I think a lot of people forget about. But it was Eddie, of course, Eddie, we all know Eddie from the Munsters. He had a TV horror host in Zombo. He really enjoyed and loved all that kind of stuff, watched it like a modern day Sven uh, We know Sven and there's been many of them, uh, Graves Manor, things like that. Uh, local TV host that showed horror movies, things like that. Well, back in Eddie Munster's day, Zombo was the, the king of the castle, is that. And so there was that episode, of course, where Eddie and Lily, they go to visit Zombo, and they're just horrified when they see. This isn't how he actually looks. It's a, a get-up and a costume and things like that. So Eddie was all worried about that. And then, of course, Herman was jealous because Eddie loves Zombo. That uh, writes itself. Let's well, sitcom history, of course. But that's where a lot of people know Zombo from. But a lot of people see this and like, why is this just a one-off character from like a TV commercial in the Munsters movie? Well, if you go back, you know your Munsters history. This was part of the series way back in the day, of course. And we're, of course, going to do this unboxing like we do all the other ones here on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And old Zombo coming in hot. And this was the first Munsters character that was released to us uh, before Herman and Grandpa. We know Lily's coming as well. Uh, but this one came out first. And I believe, wasn't it a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive and a little bit of different packaging? But this is the packaging for retail. Of course, Target stores right now but eventually everyone will have this figure so stay tuned there if you're looking from other places uh but let's see what old zombo looks like big plastic prison right in the front very cool packaging on this the black and white packaging looks really good looking like a demented witch kind of on the side we got old zombo exclamation point there love the stars around the packaging just very very cool packaging there's old Zombo on the side looking good. And Zombo reflecting on his life up there in the corner right there looking nice as well. And then on the back of the package, there's a, a couple of blurbs there and a couple more uh, action figure glamour shots. So let's see what it says in the back here about our old friend Zombo. You've entered the house of Zombo. Uh, Crumble Creature Crackers, of course, he's promoting, but very, very cool. From the TV screen to your living room, make the snack time fun time with Crumble Creature Crackers. Includes hat and cereal box. And that's kind of how he was in the movie. But like I said, the TV show uh, fleshed out the character a little bit more. We got a little bit more bells and whistles from him. Of course, the monster Monsters being a Rob Zombie movie. Not for everybody. Some people love it. See you later. Some people don't. That's kind of how all Rob Zombie movies are. I absolutely love most of Rob Zombie's stuff. Absolutely love The Devil's Rejects. My favorite movie of all time. Absolutely love that movie. House of Thorns and Corpses. Very good as well i didn't mind the halloweens uh, but he's got some uh, hit and miss ones and a lot of people thought monsters was a big miss i thought it was okay i watched it once that's all i needed to but i was worth my time watching once nice background there for old zombo see you later and we got what do we got going on here plastic see you later goodbye and then we got zombo looking pretty good here in the old plastic prison got the hat got the crackers got the robe got the celica gel packet oh always great eating with those pull them out crunch crunch there we go, there we go, we'll see you later, goodbye, and all oh, you got this. I always sprinkle this on my pizza, I cut this open, put a little, just like Parmesan, 
Very similar. They say do not eat, but who follows the rules? Kids don't eat it. I was just kidding. Uh, there you go. See you later. All right. Let's get down to these accessories first. And we get the Crumble Creature Crackers. Very cool. Like a big uh, box. I guess I want to say cereal box, but it is crackers. It says Crumble Creature Crackers Black Plague Starter Kit <laughs> Spreader Inside. Very cool. It's got a bunch of bottles and stuff. But very cool, neat attention to detail. And like a lot of NECA accessories, you can put this on the table with your Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles as a, a cracker box. You could get more use out of this than just with Zombo if you wanted to. But very cool, nice hard plastic there. And then we get a nice witch's hat, all black. You got a little circle, silver, a moon, and a star on his hat. Very on point for a witch, of course. And then we get Zombo himself. So Zombo looking really, really good. A lot of attention to detail. First thing I noticed, got the black pants on. I assumed this would just have nothing because this big robe covers everything. But they went the extra attention to detail to give soft, good pants on here. So that is very cool. You do got a cape. Of course, cape season. You're around now. Uh, two years ago, it was a seasonal-like thing. Now it's a year-around event. Just ask Lando Calrissian. Ask anybody that watches this channel. We all know it's cape season year-round. We got a nice, soft goods black cape here i uh, got moons all over here nice silver moons looking really really nice got the big robe going on soft good robes with some interesting uh hieroglyphics i don't know what you would call them but all kinds of different stuff on there uh and a big snake going down the front looking really really nice uh and then you do get uh, articulation and what do we got for articulation arms go around single jointed elbow hands back and forth side to side very creepy big hands here. Look at that. It's almost like a glove. <laughs> Very crazy. They just pull right off, though. They can be removable easily. But it looks like a big glove here. We got the big old monster hands with the black long fingernails. Very, very scary. I think Zombo is a male, though. Uh, but definitely looks like a scary witch. A female witch is what uh, he looks like here. And that's what I think most people would think. But definitely scary. You do got uh, waist articulation. A little bit of splits going on. Knees, yes, yeah, single jointed knees, ankles back, forth, side to side. But this isn't Spider-Man. You don't really need this for the articulation. This is something that's just going to sit on your uh, shelf. That's pretty much how it's going to go. I know a lot of people are going to be doing really crazy articulation movements with this one, especially with all the soft goods over the whole body of the character. But, man, it looks really nice. These soft good robes especially. I love the creepy hands going there. That's a nice extra attention to detail. And then you get to the head on Zombo. And Zombo got a big head going on. Crazy gray hair, white hair, white makeup. You got, like, kind of the moles going on in the face, the creepy teeth going there the big black eyes just very cool and if you love monster horror host i mean sven Gulli seems to be the last guy remaining i don't know if there's any more out there besides him right now but back in the day, way back in the day, before my time in the day, uh, there used to be horror hosts at pretty much every local city. You know, Des Moines had one, Chicago had one, New York had one. Everybody had their own local horror host. And a lot of older people uh, always talk very kindly and very highly of that. That's how they saw a lot of horror movies back in the day. It was simpler times, a lot less channels. Uh, but it was kind of an event every Saturday night or Friday night or whatever it may have been. Uh, just to watch your local horror host uh, showing all the movies of the time. It was just a really fun event. And it's still fun to this day. Sven Gulli still does a really good job. I don't always like all the movies he's showing, but there's some good ones every once in a while. You get the little antidotes and things like that. So it's worth checking out if you're a horror fan. Uh, and go on YouTube. There's plenty of videos showing old school horror hosts back in the day. And that's kind of what Zombo is a take on in a lot of ways. Now he just got his big old witch's hat. And I was going to say, is it going to stay on very good? I was guessing it probably won't. Uh, it's uh, an interesting one. So you're going to have to really work to get that on there. You might even have to get some sticky tack because he does just kind of pop off. And yeah, it'll it'll kind of rest on there, but not as easy as we'd like it to. But I wouldn't like a, a strap either. It would look a little funny. But maybe a little bit bigger would have been better. Uh, maybe you could heat it up and kind of mold it around there if you really needed to. But I'm really excited about this Zombo. This actually blew away my expectations here. This is better than I thought it was going to be. It looks really, really nice, especially in hand. Does he fit on a ringside collection? Collectible stand, use discount code Kyle, save yourself 10%. What do you know? Fits perfectly on the old stand right there. And you probably need a stand for him. He is a little bit top heavy. He does have a little bit of a heavy head there, but looks really good. Of course, I do got Herman Munster from the Munsters right here to go next to him. Definitely scale pretty well together. Uh, if you guys are like me, I, of course, do want a classic Munster set. I would really love that. I think that would be a really cool uh, little shelf display. But I am not against this Herman Munster. I do think uh, there is a lot of goodness with this one. I know some people don't like the movie. I get it. They don't like all that stuff. They don't like the Geico caveman playing Herman Munster. 
but I thought it looks pretty good. I like this figure a whole lot. If you like Frankenstein, you like the monsters, there's enough redeeming qualities about this one. For me, at least, maybe not you, but Zombo, definitely very, very cool, but definitely a deep cut. Deep cut in the new Monsters movie. Monsters. Monsters movie. And then a deep cut back into an episode of the early Monsters show way back in the day with Eddie and stuff. But very cool. I'm here for it. I'm glad I got this. Special shout out to Blaine for hooking me up with one of these. Uh, very happy to have this in my collection. But what say you guys out there in YouTube land? You picking up Zombo? You playing the long game? You playing the no game? Let me know in the comments down below and let me know your favorite horror host from uh, your local area back in the day. Of course, don't forget to like this video. It always helps the channel. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the old notification bell. Check out the Patreon for early access to videos like this, bonus content, exclusive content, giveaways, Q&As, you name it, a lot going on in the old Patreon channel. And of course, it is truly your best way to support the channel. You can also support the channel at search Kyle Peterson, and don't forget about social media, Sir Paul 64 is where you're going to find me on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for Zombo and Herman Munster 2... I am Kyle, and I'll see you all real soon.